and welcome to my channel where we discuss the Power Platform. Um, for those of you that haven't seen the video about uploading and taking pictures with a camera and putting them in a file library, um, do go and watch that first. This, this particular video is about how to get those images from the file library into SharePoint. Um, so I'll be taking you through that. Just to recap what this Power App does um, in the first video, it allows you to either take a picture or choose a picture and then upload that picture to a SharePoint library. Um, this is the SharePoint library in question, so you've got your files running down, you've got modified by, the image ID, the picture type and the name text. And similar to the first video, I'm going to show you what the end solution is. So we essentially want to show all of our pictures in this file library, so you can see the images down here, picture type, name and ID. So there's a couple of different methods we're going to use to actually pull in the image as well as the details behind. So we're opening up a blank uh, Power BI desktop file here, so we'll get data from SharePoint, so this is going to bring in the actual image to begin with. And we'll use this SharePoint folder. We're going to use the site URL. Just give that a second. And we'll go in and transform this data. Of course, you'll need to sign in. But I've already done the sign in process beforehand. We need to find the actual um, folder path. So I use this search here. So if it doesn't appear straight away, what I like to do is basically pick um, a particular folder path because then you can actually go in and, and use this hog to say contains. So I know that the folder path contains the letters JN, which are actually capitalized. And that will bring ahead um, the actual images here. So it's actually figured out that it's JN, um, and you can see that ever so slightly here. So if we actually click on the drop down now, we can see that it's JN Power App Document Library. So our image has been brought in. Okay. Now, to actually get this image to show in the library, we need this URL to be formatted correctly. Now, if we head over to one of the images in here and we click this, we can actually see that it's a combination of the image as well as the web page URL. So, to actually get this to work, I'm going to create a custom column. I'm going to call this the image itself. And I'm going to use the folder path in combination with the name of the image like this and that will create this unique here. We'll call this table image and our image is now ready to be used in our report. So to bring the details behind that, so as you can see right now all we have is the image so we have the name, but we don't have any other details. So if your Power um, BI needed to consume all the other columns within that document library, we're a bit stuck. So we have the date modified, the date selected. So what you now actually do is you collect a new source and you can bring this in again as a SharePoint list. So although that is a SharePoint library, it does have list properties. So I'll bring in that sh same list again just give that a second and we can select this JN document library which is the same one and now we have further information that we can use so in particular we have the pitch type which is some writing we typed in we've got titles um, we've got unique IDs and specifically um, if you do watch the first video, there was something that we did which basically tied the name. So we use the same text for the name, which is this text here, as we have done 
for another column, which is the name text. So now we can actually build a relationship between the two and show that within our report. Um, so I'm going to close and apply this now, and we're going to have a blank report to begin with. Give that a second. Okay, and we do actually want to create a relationship now between those two. So we'll go ahead of here and manage that those relationships, create a new one from image to the document library and we want it between the name and this name text and we do want this relationship to be active now what we can do is put a table in and we want our image here to actually be recognized as an image so we select image and select the data category as image URL and we're going to drag that in oops, into this table and we'll put in a few other um, it's called image ID make sure that's don't summarize we've got the picture type we've got the title we've got the modified etc now you see here that although the link is there, it's not actually showing the image um, in the desktop version. I have found that this is occurring, um, so it's something I'm investigating, but at the moment, as soon as you publish this, it does work. So I'm gonna go ahead and publish that in the background, and then we're gonna open that up in Power BI Desktop to see how it looks. That's now been published, um, and we'll head over to our workspace, and we'll have a look at that report. to recents um, it's not been opened so it's not in recents go to reports and it's this test one here and we see our images have appeared I hope that's useful and that you have fun building um, power apps and part building power BI reports and tying it all together and I hope you have a lovely day wherever you are and I'll see you in my next video thank you